All right, you guys, meme of the week. Who says teaching is stressful? I'm 39. I feel great. Had to throw this out there for the, uh, you know, having been with uh, a whole slew of teachers last week. Big props yes. to you guys. Not yes. only for the year that you've been through and all of the juggling and pivoting and crazy. I mean, they they basically, they're, they're teachers, they're AV professionals, they're IT professionals, they're counselors. It's... I it was a, it was a, it was, more. and yeah. as we know, many schools are still uh, struggling to get back to some sort of normalcy. There's a lot of uh, challenges in um, just the different school districts doing things a different way. And yeah. so it continues. And so shout out to all of the uh, educational mm-hmm. professionals who are there we appreciate doing their the best at, at least at least they get paid a million dollars a year to do it. That so is I'm, why they got into it. It's deservedly so. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's that's Aaron Rodgers. I forgot. Uh, well, Tom Cruise. don't get me started. Yeah. She'll go off. She'll go off. But no, seriously, thank you. Thank you. You know who you are uh, for all that you, you do. And uh, this week, we've got a adult itis writer of the month to talk oh, about. Man. We're a day late. Technically. This is August. This was August. Yeah, that's okay. Adult Itis yeah. Fighter of the Month. Sharon. And it is Sharon Neiman Lundgren. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's she's one of my favorite people. She's got such an amazing spirit about her. Um, here she is with a, a glass of, of wine. She's a Cheers, she's, Sharon. She's a connoisseur, um, as it were. Some, that's on my bucket list to share wine with to Sharon. Cheer, like to clink glasses mm-hmm. with her. Yeah, <laughs> that's on my bucket yeah, list. I've never Sharon. never met her in person, but no. hopefully someday. Right? But, you know, uh, one of the things we do, we, we are always on the lookout for adult-itis fighters to, uh, who inspire us. And we want to sh- uh, hold them up as an example to other people and um, always ask some questions to our adult-itis fighters. And uh, one of the things we ask is, what's something you loved doing as a child that you still do in some form today? Mm-hmm. And Sharon had a bunch of things. By the way, you can go to our website, scapedalhug.com. Go to the blog. You'll see every adult itis fighter we've ever had. I don't even know how many years we've been doing this. Yeah, but it's been a long, long time. time. And Sharon's on tonight, so that's exciting. That so is pretty cool. Win. We've when got a celebrity fighter. in the house. Woo-hoo. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, what, what is she? I don't. I, I don't know if that she is referring. If that's. If, is she's that what drinking this is? Tea, tea tonight, and she's got bourbon in it. I, I might have know. missed. I, the comments go back fast for us. Yes. Guys, yes. So, uh, so anyway, we asked her. She had a bunch of things that she loves doing uh, today that she did when she was a kid. But she said, "I spent hours as a kid and teen wearing out all the stereos playing music that I danced to for hours. I still chant dance any chance I get. I prefer psy trance." 60s and 70s hippie music, and most of all, Duran Duran. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Dancing is a form of prayer in many cultures because it elevates our consciousness to rise above earthly challenges. Mm-hmm. I love that sentiment. Oh, and I still sleep with my sock monkey. Aww. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, so and then we ask some, you know, hopefully some helpful questions that, that uh, gives good advice. What is your strategy for dealing with people who are obviously infected with adultitis? She says, encourage them to play. Take them on a fun adventure. And yes, sometimes that may need to involve a couple alcoholic beverages. You got to do what you got to do. I mean, it's just... Get it, get her done, as Larry the Cable Guy would say. <laughs> Maybe the first time I've ever said that in my life. I know. But I was listening to Sirius Radio on my uh, uh, on all my drives. Because now we got a new car because we got three months straight. Like, get her done. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a while since I'd heard that. Uh, what advice do you have for someone who is feeling overwhelmed by adultitis? No matter what is happening or what you are facing, rather than asking how can I handle this or how can I get how am I going to get through this. Ask and said, how can I play through this? Mm, I love that. Let me say it again. Instead of asking, how can I handle this? How am I going to get through this? Ask, how can I play through this? Mm. And it sort of reminds me a little little ways about um, how we uh, talk about now that this has happened, what does this make possible? Yeah. Right. Whenever something challenging happens and we've turned it into a bit of a game. Where it's sort of like a challenge to figure out, what, okay, I'm going to find, it's like an I spy. Like, yeah. I'm going to spy. You were doing that today during that lunch. Comes out of this. He was sharing some challenges he's having with some technology. 
trying to figure out if there's a way to take that challenge and use it as an opportunity. And we were kind of playing with that. Yeah. It wasn't as, it kind of shifted from frustration of like, oh, why is this working? To like, okay, well, maybe there's something cool that could come out of it. Yeah. So uh, love this picture of Sharon Aww. with her big teddy. That is, uh, had to show that one too. So Sharon, thank you so much for all of your contribution, contributions to our community. She is a Wonder and Whimsy Society member. She has been around here for a long time. Yes. And uh, really appreciate having your spirit and perspective uh, to encourage us. So, Sharon, you embody the pledge of Wonder and Whimsy. You are constantly seeking wonder and spreading whimsy. And uh, we're just so grateful to have you as part of our community. So congratulations, Sharon. Yay!